It's time, folks. I, I don't know why I'm so pumped. Wow. Hello, and welcome to another commentary from my channel. You guys have to realize I'm back with another pure rant today because I just don't care about Amberlynn's diabetes or not or lack of diabetes. And Foodie Booty's new video is um, basically just a sort of travel vlog. It kind of reminded me of uh, like a, the opening to a new Indiana Jones movie. But today I wanted to react to just this one this one little line in the newest. Amberlynn video, and that was when Amber said that she felt like a hibachi chef when making her stir fries. What has been my favorite is stir fries. With like any meat, making a stir fry, oh, it just feels like I am actually a chef <laughs> at the hibachi restaurant. <laughs> I am keto queen. Keto queen. Yeah, uh, take it from me. I actually was a fucking hibachi chef. Your stir fries? No, it's not, no, it's nowhere close to anything that is considered a Japanese stir-fry or a hibachi meal. You are nowhere near that. You know, there are a lot of us in the Amberverse. Some of us ride on comets, some of us drive luxury vehicles. Me, I drive a Volvo station wagon with a car seat in the back. So if you're ready, grab yourself some soy sauce, a small portion of steak, and a few extra onions, because we are headed towards the Amberverse. Working on this editing might take a couple hours. Make some bagels taste sour, then I take a shower. Here we go again. Amazon unboxing till it makes me feel better. Then I'll cover up the comments like some stretches in my sweater. Ready? Ain't felt this good since I broke up with Becky. I get my torrid on, I'm feeling sexy. Like Miss my pill reminders, cause I'm on too many meds. Yeah, I gotta stay in bed, but I'm feeling good. <laughs> I don't do my taxes, I might need some help. I don't plant a garden, I get lettuce off the shelf. I don't wanna work hard, I just want the clout. I don't like my girlfriend, so I switch them out. I don't wear a seatbelt, it only slows me down. When I order Uber Eats, I gotta have the hash browns. Yeah, I got a couple lawsuits, I had to leave town. I don't have a license, my girl drives me around. Target haul, toward haul, don't check the price, I got it. That money stacking up like those calories I counted. Amberlynn Reed is a terrible cook, from her god-awful soups to her deplorable knife skills. Her hibachi meals are basically boiled meat and steamed vegetable mush with minute rice. Every time this woman picks up a knife, I get scared. I get scared. The way she doubles up veggies on the slippery ends, I'm just like, what are you, what are you doing? Even whenever you dice an onion, the trick to dicing an onion is you don't cut it all the way through because you don't want it to slip. The things that you do are, are crazy to me and so dangerous. It kind of reminds me of whenever I first met Lily and she was cooking and she, her knife skills were better than Amber Lynn's whenever I first met her, but they weren't great. And I did get that feeling of like, Oh. You know, whenever I saw her using a knife. And I tell you what, that doesn't happen anymore because Lily has really improved at her cooking skills. I swear, she can cook an egg better than, like, anyone. Like, Gordon Ramsay would like her eggs. I'm not even joking. Every time we get a new cook in the kitchen, we always ask them to make a scrambled egg. And if they can make the perfect scrambled egg, you know they know how to cook properly. All Amberlynn eats is pork rinds and stir-fry now. So... Honestly, I, I'm a little surprised that she's saying she's not diabetic. It seems like she will be soon. The salt levels are incredibly high with her new diet. And I tell you what, the lipedema diagnosis is being used as an excuse for all this junk food. I have a real problem with dieting and eating prepackaged foods. It's not that I'm like totally against it, but there's sort of an issue with a few things in my opinion. The first of which being that you can't control the salt levels in this prepackaged food. 
it's already made, you know? If, if you're going to try and get something that has reduced salt, you're going to have to go and buy that reduced salt version. The second point about it is you will often eat multiple servings than what is suggested on the packaging. It's very easy to do that, especially with things like cookies or Oreos, for that matter. I always think it's funny how vegans are like, yeah, I'm, I can eat Oreos. So they gobble them down like fucking jelly beans. But Oreos are vegan, so you can go vegan and still have Oreos, right? We're celebrating 110 years of chronic disease. 110 years of people eating garbage food that is harming them. That's nothing to celebrate. Wow. I think I'll eat it now. No, God, please do. The third point about the prepackaged food I want to make is you don't know how where or in what conditions it was prepared in. You know, the point I want to make here is some of the facilities that create these prepackaged things, like I'm going to bring up uh, tortilla chips. The facilities that make tortilla chips, a lot of them have been reported to be not clean. Like, not good. You know, just throwing that out there. I would hope that Amber would be doing research on small things like this whenever she's consuming them in mass. But in conclusion to this video, it's just a short video today, I just wanted to say, when I hear Amberlynn Reed say that she's a hibachi chef, I just think, yeah. Why don't you try learning how to use a knife there, Julia Child? Uh, you gotta learn how to walk before you can run. Please, let's just calm down a little and do some basic cooking. <laughs> but with that, we have been teleported out of the Amberverse. I, I did that myself today. I just, I just can't take watching those knife shots. I I just hit the button myself. I was like, we're out of here. If you look to your right, there will be a stewardess to help you out of the Volvo station wagon, and you'll be back at home safe and sound in no time. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this special episode of You Guys Have to Realize All About Cooking, and remind everyone that these videos are put out for entertainment purposes only. Please do not send any hateful or disparaging remarks to myself or anyone mentioned in the videos. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Gotta let this feeling grow Make this last forever Yeah, I know I remember when we first met But it feels so long ago I see you shining through there Time to let it show Come around and take this boost So I can watch you glow You know there is no one out there Time to start the show It can be just you and me You and me Listen to my voice and I think I'll eat it now! No! God, please do!